What's up guys? I'm going to show you how to install Ubuntu on your on your flash drive. It has to be at least 1 gig. And to do this, you're going to need this program right here that I'm moving. Uh, what you have to do is first install your flash drive and, and format it. Always format it to the original settings, FAT32. And when you do that, open this program up. I will have a description, a uh, link in the description of this program. And uh, scroll down to Ubuntu. And if you don't have a 1 gig flash drive, uh, you can uh, use this. It's called Damn Small Linux. That works very well too. Not the best, but uh, Ubuntu right here for if you have a one gig. If you have one laying around, just use it. And that's, and uh, make sure it's on 8.04 live. And uh, press OK. And pressing OK, as you can see, it's downloading the ISO file. I already have the ISO file, um, so I'm just going to uh, stop it right here, so I don't have to wait for the freaking download. It takes a while, so have fun downloading that, and I'll show you when I leave off. So hold on. All right, I am back, and uh, when it's done downloading, you will get this little download bar right here the progress bar and just wait for it to go it actually goes pretty fast so you will shortly have a Linux operating system on a 1 gig uh, flash drive so just wait for this to finish just taking a sec here um, need this one here right now. Ubuntu has its own website. Uh, you can follow blogs and uh, any information following up on Ubuntu. And I'll show that website while that's finishing up. It's actually not going that fast like I thought it would. But oh well. Okay, let's go to... Uh, I don't know if I still have it in my computer. Yeah, I do. Okay. So, here we are. I, I got the desktop edition. I think it's the best. Um, the, my wireless drivers don't work for Ubuntu that, on my computer that I know of. Uh, I've heard other people getting to work on theirs, but I never got mine to work. I might have to play around with it a little while, but yeah, so there's actually three different editions, I think. There's a server edition, there's a notebook remix. It's designed for small screens. I have a wide screen, so I got the desktop edition. And I think it's the best. It, I didn't. I, I want to get the real version, not the where these versions are. The cut down, whatever they call them. But let's see if that's done yet. Nope. Still at five percent. So I uh, just keep on waiting for this to uh, go, and I'm gonna stop the video till it's done. Okay. Hey everybody, I am back, and don't worry about that right there. Um, see, when you're done, everything's done, your flash drive's done, you're going to get this reboot now. So, you're going to want to reboot now. So, I'm going to stop the video, and I'm going to have a camera going. So, hold on. Alright, so here I am. 
I'm gonna reboot now. So rebooting. Just quit. Okay. This might take a minute, so hold on. Get a little closer, you should see a little better. And here's my flash drive right here. As you can see, it's a uh, four gig. Can't see it very well. It's four gigs, but you only need one gig. I just happen to have a four gig. I got from my dad. Thank you, Dada. Shutting down. It is very crucial that you let it shut down completely because I didn't. I figured this out the hard way that it's still installing when it's shutting down it's saving settings and everything to your flash drive so it knows how to boot back up so careful with that don't just shut it up by the power button right there wait for it to actually okay now it's starting to reboot I'm going to press escape for the boot options it's going to be different on other computers Hey, sorry about that. Um, I ran out of memory on my camera. And, uh, well, here is the Ubuntu operating system. It's, like, extremely fast. Uh, internet does work. Um, my wireless drivers went happen to work for my uh, computer on Ubuntu. So I just have to hardwire my thing. So just hold on. I can... Firefox browser. Let's see if I'll see if that works. Firefox is already running. I don't know why I said that. I wasn't right. Oh, uh, I clicked it so many times. So I see how usually on Windows you have to like double click. You just have to click it once, and it'll like it, that's how fast this thing is. Double click to pop up instantly. I don't know why my connection is not working right now. Wired auto add okay apply. I think that should work. Well, that's it right there, guys. Um, crucial point do not ever remove that when you're running the operating system. Go right here, right here click shut down or restart I'm gonna shut mine down it gives you time yes yeah, shut down it gives you instructions when you're shutting down so as you can see please remove the disk you can't see that well Enter to continue. And you can just shutting down. And there we go. Shut down. And it's gonna reboot. And I can reboot back to my Vista or my XP. The other one that I want. So yeah, just okay. There you go guys.